News 12 New Jersey's Kimberly Buck joins us from Manasquan tonight. Kimberly. Good evening, Kurt. Amazing how a few hours make such a difference. I'm standing here on 4th and Main in Manasquan. You could really see the strong winds have picked up in the moon. It really makes such a difference. Take a listen. As you drive inland, you can see many of the roads are beginning to seep in with overflowing water from the outskirts of Manasquan, South Jackson, Perrine Avenue, Main Avenue and South Potter. Keeping that in mind, anyone parked here should move their vehicles and do not attempt to drive through these problem areas. The tidal flooding will be expected tonight through tomorrow. We spoke with the Manasquan Mayor Mike Mangan earlier today at the inlet where many of the problems occur. In a lot of cases, rain doesn't exactly raise the, the same amount of water as the high tide or the moon does. So we have our own drainage issues, which is, you know, comes with the rain, but the flooding brings another level of concern because there's nowhere for the water to go. So again, weather's unpredictable. We don't know exactly how it's going to be tonight or in the morning, but we're expecting definitely minor to moderate coastal flooding tonight and tomorrow morning. The mayor tells me that it's the low lying areas east of the bridge that are most prone to flooding. In Manasquan, Kimberly Buck, News 12.